Tyler and Jessica, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these, your servants, Tyler and Jessica, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our readings from Scripture.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mystery and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jessica and Tyler, we, your family and friends, we gather here today. We come here not just to witness the exchange of vows. We come here to pray for you today. It is here as we come before the Lord that we embrace his love for each and every one of us. A love that establishes within each of us the ability to love as he did. A love that you share for each other came from him. A love that you have embraced throughout your entire life to this point has come from him through the people who love you. As you gather here today then, to begin your life together as husband and wife. Recognize that your ability to love is based on him. And so how important he is then in your lives as husband and wife, 
as parents, as grandparents, as great-grandparents. It is so important then that you realize where your strength comes from. It comes from him. That's why we're here today, because it comes from him. It is not a zero-based love where you only have so much of it to give, and so you have to spread it out. It's a, a love that is eternally based. A love that the more you rely on it and utilize it, the more you get. So that it doesn't matter if you have one child or 14 kids. The love that you need to embrace each and every one of them will come from him. The love that you need to be partners in life will come from him. It is not just the two of you in this bond of marriage. It is the two of him, the two of you, and him, the supplier of love for both of you. We give great thanks to the Lord today for his tremendous love for each and every one of us, as well as we give tremendous thanks to him for the love that he gives to the two of you. As your families have embraced his love to this point, now it's your turn to establish that same sort of love amongst the two of you. Recognize where that source comes from and always cling tight to him. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church of God so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community of people gathered here, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with his sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens both of you. You who have been consecrated by holy baptism, that you may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Tyler and Jessica, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. yes. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Yes. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. yes. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, turn now towards each other, join your right hands, and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Tyler. I, Tyler. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness and in health and in health to love you to love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life i jessica i jessica take you tyler take you tyler 
To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within each of you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Tyler, take her two rings. Turn towards each other. Place them on her finger. Look at her. Repeat after me. Jessica, receive these rings. Jessica, receive these rings. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Take his ring. Place it on his finger. You have to twist it. Okay, that's I'll good. I'll just leave it. Okay. Look at him. Repeat after me. Tyler. Tyler. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. We now bring to the Lord our prayers of petition. Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of Jessica and Tyler, let us commend them to the Lord. That these faithful Christians and newly joined in holy matrimony, may they always enjoy health and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That he will bless the covenant as he chose to sanctify marriage in in Cain and Galilee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they will be granted perfect and faithful love, peace, and strength, and that they will bear faithful witness to the name of a Christian. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day, and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help from the grace from above. Let us pray to the Lord. That the grace of the sacrament will be renewed by the Holy Spirit and all married persons here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Please be seated. At each and every celebration, we bring to the Lord gifts, gifts of bread and wine to be offered on his altar, changed into his body and blood. We bring these gifts forward now in our offertory procession.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive in your kindness, Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you. And in your fatherly love, watch over those you have joined in a sacramental covenant. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you willed that the human race created by the gift of your goodness should be raised to such high dignity that in the union of husband and wife you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony, as the abiding sign of your own love, consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Tyler and Jessica, whom you've brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace, they may abide in mutual love and peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. At this time, we have the special nuptial blessing for the bride and groom. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and willed that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for these, your servants, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon Jessica and upon Tyler, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in your children. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. And may Almighty God bless you, who are gathered here in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tyler and Jessica... Uh, throughout this wedding mass, we had on our altar this cross. It is a cross that's made by our deacon. It has the symbols of the wedding um, embedded in it, and it is our gift from the parish to you on your wedding day. We suggest that you put it on a wall in your room, and uh, that it might be a place of prayer for the two of you within your household. I'm happy to introduce to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler and Jessica Knaust. Thank you.